Okay, so the problem, what it asks us to do is it asks us to find the to find the vertex, the axis symmetry, and how the graph is going to open up. So first of all, what we have is we have a problem that's in quadratic form. 2x squared plus 12x plus 18. Right, so it's in quadratic form. So if we want to find the vertex, what we learned previously was to do opposite of b divided by 2a, then evaluate for f of opposite of b divided by 2a. However, what we're practicing right now is just working on finding what the vertex is in vertex form. So we need to transfer this over to vertex form. So to do that, remember the first thing I told you guys to do is kind of put parentheses around your first two terms. Then what we need to do is make sure a is equal to one. So to get our a equal to one, we factor out a two out of our first two terms. Therefore, we're left with x squared plus six x plus 18. Now that we have a equals one, and we have a binomial in here, what we need to do is create a perfect square trinomial. So to create a perfect square trinomial, yes? Could you factor the 2 out of 18 also? You could. Okay. You could. Um, however, I just prefer just to kind of go through it this way, just because I just like dealing with factoring out of these two terms and not dealing with the 18. But yes, you could, multi you could factor out the 2 out of the 18. The only reason why I don't like doing it, because then you have to remember just to multiply back out it again. So I always just like to keep it just um, without it factored out of the 18. But yes, you could factor 2 out of that 18. So now what I can do is to determine the perfect square is I'm going to take Destin, I'm going to take 6 divided by 2 and square it, where 6 is my b. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, 3 squared is 9. So I write y equals 2 times x squared plus 6x plus 9 and then remember, I also have to make sure I subtract 9 on the same side. Well, remember, I'm not really adding and subtracting 9, because I'm adding 9 that's being multiplied by 2, so I'm going to have to subtract a 9 that's going to be multiplied by 2. Okay? So now, when I go ahead and complete my square, I can say, well, what is this? This is a perfect square trinomial, so what does it look like as a perfect square? Well, the one way we can always remember it is x plus b divided by 2. Well, we said b divided by 2 was 3, in which we know that x squared, uh, sorry, x plus 3 squared is the same thing as your perfect square trinomial there. Therefore, uh, negative 9 times 2 is negative 18, plus 18 is 0. So we can just write in the 0 just forward so we can use it in vertex form. So now you guys can see that here is our same exact problem, but now it's in vertex form. Well, since it's in vertex form, we can now determine our vertex is going to be negative 3, comma, 0, right? Where your vertex is your h, comma, k. Then we have our axis of symmetry. And remember, the axis of symmetry is going to be the vertical line that, is going, that your uh, parabola is going to be symmetrical about, which in this case is going to be a vertical line x equals negative 3. Then the last thing we need to do is determine does our graph open up or does it open down? Well, again, we're going to look at our A. And since our A is positive, we know that our graph is going to open up and our vertex is going to be a minimum. So we can just write in there the graph opens up. Okay, any last questions? Good. Okay, so what I'd like you to do, if, um, you know, just kind of see if you 